Hey everyone, so I just wanted to come on here quickly and make a video called Meet My Pets because I've acquired a few different types of lizards, snakes, and a furry friend, if you will. I've had a lot of questions over the past few months like which pets are mine, which pets are not mine, or in the wild, and so I thought it would be a great idea to sort of introduce you to the pets that I've acquired over the past year. So without further ado, this is Meet My Pets. Hope you enjoy. Recently, I've been making a lot of videos with my iPhone. The editing app that I've been using has not really been that great, um, so I haven't really been able to make like as cool videos as I would like to because I really enjoy editing, but that just wasn't working out for me. So now I'm back to using my Sony ZV-1, and I really hope that this video turns out better than the last few ones that I made. Okay, so these tanks are just temporary setups, but in here I have two of my baby Toke geckos, which I'll take out in just a second. And then in this one, I have three corn snakes. And they're all, all three of them are totally different from each other. So if you guys are familiar with toke geckos at all, you know that these little guys are so cute, but they're so mean. They have a nasty bite when they get older, and he's pretty feisty. Doesn't look like it now, but he did just try to bite my hand when I took him out of the tank. So this one I haven't named yet, but this is the darker blue toke gecko that I have. And now I'm just going to grab the other one to show you as well. Oh. Okay, so the other one is actually not being cooperative right now but this is what he looks like isn't he so pretty but yeah he's really really feisty and there's the other one the glare is kind of bad but you get the idea look how cute he is i wish they were nicer so i could hold them more so now i'm going to show you guys my corn snakes and i'm going to start off with my newest corn snake i named this one dinky the reason why I named this one Dinky is because if you look at the end of the tail, it was actually cut off. Not by me, but by... I don't I don't even know, honestly. But I think she was so pretty because of this light tan color on her body. My other two corn snakes have like reds and oranges. She's really sweet though, she hasn't bit me yet. It looks like one of them actually shed. So I was in the middle of moving my snake cage to a spot where you could hear me better and Garrett had little Nathaniel out. This is our little raccoon right now. He's a little spooked from the noise. Look at him go. Oh, he can't climb the tree and he's trying. He's trying to climb a tree. Little baby, you're too little for that. Isn't he adorable? Come on, sweetie. So this is Melon. This is the snake that actually just shed, and this is the male corn snake that I have. It's the biggest one. I think he's really pretty, but he's definitely not my favorite. This snake was actually found in a watermelon field a couple hours north of here. Cuny! Come here! The raccoon is walking in the yard towards me. Look at him! So oh, stinking cute. Come here, Nathaniel. This is Nathaniel. He's a little bit spooked right now because of all the yard work going on, but hopefully I can get him over here and he can be calm so I can show you in front of the camera. Come here, baby. He's a little calm. He's still kind of spooked. He is a Hurricane Ian survivor, and we've had him for a couple months since the storm, and he's just the sweetest thing ever. He's getting so big. He's eating solids now. I was bottle feeding him kitten replacement milk, and... Aww. If you don't know already, we raised two raccoons in the spring that were abandoned by their mom. One of them still lives here. Oh, what's the matter, baby? Now we have him, so hopefully he has a place to stay because she's not really too fond of him being around. Okay, last but not least, this is Cypress. This is the first corn snake that I got, and I named her after the cypress trees in the Everglades. She's my favorite because she's... Well, she's probably my favorite because she was the first one that I got, but also her coloring. She's bright orange and bright red, and then she has much smaller spots on her back than the last one, Melon. And like I said before, none of them have ever striked at me, so I'm hoping that it stays that way. Sometimes they strike at Garrett when he's feeding them little mice and lizards and whatnot, but that's kind of expected. It's not like they're trying to be mean, they're just feeding at the time. This is Gregory. So Gregory is a savanna monitor lizard and he's going to grow to probably about four feet. So as you can see, this tank is probably about four feet long. So this is just a temporary enclosure, but he just ate part of a lizard and he's a little spooked right now. 
and I haven't really held him very much yet I've only held him a couple times because every time we check on him he's a little scared and I feel bad so I kind of want him to get used to the environment before I start holding him more Now that I've wrapped up the Meet My Pets video, I figured I would include some of this footage that I'm taking today. I am on the other coast of Florida, on the east coast, and me and Garrett are looking for indigo snakes. And I'm gonna insert some pictures over here that shows them versus the black racer because I think they look similar, but they obviously have key characteristics that tell you can tell them apart. But yeah, so we've been hiking all morning. Lots of thorns, lots of cactus, but we have unfortunately not found an indigo. They're really rare, but Garrett did catch this giant toe-trip snake. It was about six and a half feet long. And then I found just the skin to a black racer because it had shed. Um, we are seeing tons of tortoise, bunch of little box turtles, and just other little wildlife like butterflies. Um, we have a sunroof in this car. Garrett has a sunroof in his car. And he never opens it. Oh wait, not that button. So look at this. You can obviously you know how a sunroof works. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you don't. And I could just peek my head up through here like this. And then we could drive and I could get such cool footage. But he never lets me do that. Like, hey, I'm driving in the car and I'm going through the woods. Okay, this is really cool, but we have it closed all the time. I don't know for whatever reason. What? He's like, can't you just enjoy yourself? You don't always have to film. And I'm like, this is how I enjoy myself. It's by filming. No, but really, I like filming. Like, if I'm in the car and I'm on a road trip and I want to film, big deal. It's fun. I like it. I like looking back at this stuff, too. This is where we pulled off to go hiking. And of course, we saw a few tortoise, so I had to videotape them. After I videotaped this tortoise, I actually saw a really pretty box turtle. So I went over to him to say hello, and some cars came. So I actually ended up picking him up and moving him to the other side of the road to make sure that he was safe. Anyway, this is what the path looked like that I was primarily hiking on, but I got distracted. Sorry, Garrett. And I was videotaping this beautiful monarch butterfly, and then also these really weird plants that I'm not really sure what they're called, so I figured I would research them, but I haven't really gotten that far yet. So this is right after Garrett caught an eastern coach whip snake. This one has a really dark head and a light tan body, which I find to be absolutely beautiful. He was relatively chill, but he was so long, literally six and a half feet, which is crazy because if you research them online, it says they only get to six feet long, but he was huge. Anyway, after that, we went to this other place where we saw bear tracks. So we were following the tracks when we came across an eastern hognose snake, and I've actually never seen one of these before, but they're so stinking cute. This is actually part of his defense mechanism where he flattens out his body and tries to make himself look like a venomous cobra But it's kind of funny because these snakes are non-venomous and they're not dangerous whatsoever One of my next videos is going to be a trip to Georgia for Thanksgiving. So if you want to see some hiking in some pretty fall woods up north, stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you next time. And see you later. Say bye, Nathaniel.
Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, bye.